this hormone helps to create bonding with your partner it helps to create bonding with your spouse have you ever asked yourself this question what happens to my body as a lady before during and after sex if you have not had sex before and you are about to try it have you ever asked yourself what is going to happen to my body and if you've been having sex and you don't even understand what is taking place this video is for you good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the various activities, the various phases that takes place in a woman's body after sex, before, during, and after sex. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are content you are interested in, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go there welcome back yes welcome back and i'm going to be going straight into the point without wasting your time so the first thing that happened is known as the excitement phase yes the excitement when we say excitement we miss somebody is happy right so what happened during this excitement phase? your full body is excited your heart rate increases your pulse increases Oxygen requirements by your body also increase. Your lungs start taking in more oxygen. Your respiratory rate increases when you breathe. You see yourself breathing very fast. If there was a stopwatch to calculate your respiratory phase or respiratory rate when you were normal and when you were in the excitement phase, you will see the variation. And something also takes place, which is blood vessels and capillary along the surface of your skin starts to dilate. This makes your skin appear red, flushed, and glowy. So when you are in the excitement phase as a lady, you will not even notice it. But your skin, they appear red, they appear flushed, and they appear glowing. And there's also increased blood supply to the breast and also the genitals. You notice that the nipples or the breast might temporarily get bigger than its normal, um, its normal size and shape. And also down there in your genitals, there's increased blood flow down there that leads to the clitoris to become swollen, to become engorged. And that also makes the vagina changes its color because there's an increased blood flow to the vagina. That is what takes place in that excitement stage when you, when you want to have sex, when you're in the mood as a lady. So if you don't understand or if you understand what I'm trying to say as a lady, please drop in the comment section and make me know that you are following so then that takes me to the second phase which is the play to phase as the name implies play to you are getting to the peak of this excitement that's the peak the highest of this excitement during this thing your heart rate is still on the high side your respiratory rate is still on the high side your skin is still red it's still glowing the blood vessels are dilating the capillaries are dilating there the genitals are getting enough blood flow during this phase, yes, your clitoris is very sensitive and also down there, the vagina starts lubricating itself. There's increased lubrication down there in the vagina because at this moment, the vagina is waiting for penal penetration. The vagina is waiting for the penis to go inside and do whatever it is meant to do. So that is the second phase, which is the plateau phase phase is the climax phase what happens during this climax phase is that the body reaches its peak of excitement the vaginal muscle keep contracting and relaxing and there's a release of this happy hormone there's an increased surge of this happy hormone the oxytocin is seen as the happy hormone is seen as the happiness hormone so there's increase in this hormone this hormone helps to create bonding with your partner it helps to create bonding with your spouse so this is what takes place in the climax 
phase then that takes us to the last phase which is the resolution phase as the name implies resolution phase this phase i call it back to factory settings because everything is going back to normal your heart rate that was high before is going back to normal your respiratory rate that was high before is going back to normal everything your blood vessels that we are dilating before they are going back to normal during the resolution phase so these are the various changes that takes place in your body after you have sex or before you have sex or during you have sex during sex as a lady hope you understand this thing better because as a lady i really want ladies out there to understand the various things that are taking place in their body and let me tell you something as a lady there's usually an increased sexual urge when you are in your ovulation yes and that period when you are releasing egg there's an increased sexual urge that is why i advise you young ladies young guys women men don't visit your crush when you are in your ovulation don't visit somebody you are crushing or but you don't want to have sex with when you are on your ovulation because you don't know what will happen next because during this period as the body has been designed there's an increased sexual urge that is expected to make you like want to have sex and when you have sex the possibility of even giving birth is on the high side the possibility of you getting pregnant and having nine months assignment is on the high side so don't visit your crush when you are what when you are on your ovulation because all this phase you are going to pass through it without knowing then at the end you end up oh i regret i would have not gone there i would have not mm -mm, calm down i'm telling you now i'm advising you then also a question popped in that i said i'm going to answer it in this video which is is virginity test medically and scientifically accurate um virginity test is not medically and scientifically accurate these are just like uh, should i say our culture and tradition that makes us do it i remember they'll tell you if one finger goes into your vagina you are a virgin but if two you are a virgin but if two fingers can go into your vagina it simply means that you are no longer a virgin that test is not accurate please and please if the men can we cannot detect if men have slept with so what is the essence of we stressing the lady out with the virginity test like i always tell you the only way to know if a lady is a virgin is for you to ask that lady yes and if the lady lies, it's up to her to lie or tell the truth. If someone loves you, I feel that person is going to tell you the truth. That is the only way. And for those that say the hymen signifies virginity, let me tell you something. Hymen is different from virginity. I've said this time without number on my on my on my videos. Hymen is like a tissue covering the vagina. You get a lot of things can break the hymen. A lot of things can make the hymen go you get but virginity is talking about you having sex or not hymen is a tissue but virginity is if you had sex or not and you can see that question is like ask just go straight to a man ask the, can you detect like have you have sex or not it's just what virginity is all about so it's quite different from hymen please and please let's not mistake virginity for hymen and also virginity test is not medically accurate the only test i know is to ask the lady so this is all i have to share with you in today's video thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not mesmeri saying thank you bye and see you in our next video